Today, I'm going to be unlocking all 67 Steam achievements in Mafia 2. A little over a month ago, I 100%ed the original Mafia game, and it was an absolutely phenomenal experience. Now, Mafia 1 was pretty easy, and it has no DLC. Mafia 2, on the other hand, has two DLCs, and one of them, Jimmy's Vendetta, has a ridiculous set of trophies, and I nearly quit the game. The sequel is set in the 1940s and begins with Vito, the guy we play as, and his friend Joe getting caught by a cop while stealing something. Joe gets away, but Vito is arrested. In order to avoid prison time, Vito joins the army to fight in World War II. In the first mission, we actually play as Vito fighting in the invasion of Sicily. Not a lot happens, although I do get to shoot like 50 Italians with an MG42. Anyhow, after about 10 minutes of me trying to figure out the very strange control layout, I progress and a cutscene plays. Essentially, the dawn of the town just tells the Italians to stand down, so they do. Cool. Completing the first chapter earned me my first achievement. A little later on, Vito gets shot, and then he gets a month's shore leave where he is reunited with Joe. In the few years that we've been away, Joe's been busy and he's in bed with the Mafia. He has some connections, so he gets us some honourable discharge papers forged for us so we don't ever have to go back to the front lines. After that, we go visit our mother and sister. Also, our dad's dead, but he was a dickhead anyway, so we don't really care. The next morning, we see our sister being harassed in the alleyway by our house. Naturally, we kick the guy's head in, and then our sister tells us that she and our mother owe $2,000, which in today's money equates to roughly 2.4 fuckloads loads of cash. Protecting our sister earned us an achievement. We go to see Joe and decide that to get out of this perilous predicament, we must become a car thief. So Joe takes us around for a bit and I jump a fence to steal a luxury car. I get caught and have to shoot a couple of people, but I manage to escape with the car unscathed. We then take the car to some guy called Mike who buys stolen cars and he pays us $400 and he also offers us more jobs in the future. Selling my first car earned me an achievement. After that, I drove back to crash at Joe's apartment. I may have committed a few crimes on the way, but when I got there, I got the trophy for completing Chapter 2. At the beginning of the next mission, I got a call from my mum telling me to go and find some work at the docks. She doesn't know about this whole Mafia thing. I tell her I will, and I go see this dude at the port. He says he'll pay me 10 bucks for stacking a bunch of crates, but I'm not having any of that bullshit. I tell him I'm friends with Joe, and he gives me the job of collecting fees from the workers. I just had to walk around taking money, and I also had to beat the shit out of one guy. Doing that earned me 100 bucks and an achievement. While driving, I crashed and somehow got a trophy for getting all four wheels of my car in the air for at least 20 meters. For the next mission, I need to break into the Office of Price Administration to steal some ration stamps. There were a few guards in the building, and I killed some which got me a trophy for killing 50 enemies. I also found a collectible for another achievement. For a missable trophy, I had to obtain the ration stamps without raising the alarm. It took a few tries, but I did it, earning the trophy, The Professional. After that, I had to drive around and give the ration stamps to gas stations for some cash. Also, the guy running these places is a damn hard worker. I went to six gas stations and every single one was run by the same guy. When I got back to Joe's apartment, the trophy for completing Chapter 3 popped. In the next mission, while robbing a jewellery store, the cops show up. We make our way up to the rooftop and then climb along a ledge to escape. At the end of the mission, $1,000 is added to my account and I have to drive back home. On my way, I thought it would be fun to get the achievement Hard to Kill, which only 3.5% of people have. To get the trophy, you have to get to a point where you have a 4 star wanted rating and then you have to survive for 10 minutes. I was pretty lucky with this one, the achievement popped literally seconds before I died. As per usual, I got another achievement for completing the mission. One time when we're leaving Joe's apartment, we see one of Joe's girls in an argument with some man outside. We decide to help the lady out. I immediately pulled a gun on the guy and shot him. For some reason, that didn't make me progress. Turns out I had to actually beat him up. Can you blame me though? I mean, the game just said teach him a lesson. I don't think he's gonna do it again. Helping her out earned me an achievement. After that, I get told to assassinate this fat dude who screwed with the crime family somehow. I then go pick up an MG42 from an arms dealer and we head to an apartment across from the fat dude's factory. Unfortunately, we are seen and are forced to chase the guy into the factory. We fight our way through a bunch of guys before getting to the boss and shooting him everywhere. Before he died, he got in a shot at one of our guys, so we have to rush him to a doctor while avoiding the cops. When I completed the mission, I got a trophy. I also got enough money to pay off my family's debt, so I do. At the beginning of the next mission, there are cops outside my house, and I get arrested. Turns out one of the gas station attendees ratted on me for the ration stamps, and I get sentenced to 10 years in prison. This mission reminded me a lot of the Shawshank Redemption movie. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's what the developers had in mind. This part of the game was quite the drag, but essentially we get into a few fights and join a prison gang. We make friends with some powerful people, and they manage to get our sentence reduced massively. Eventually there is just a time skip to where I'm out of jail. Completing Chapter 6 earned me an achievement. The next mission was so fucking awful. Basically, to celebrate my release, Joe wants to go out on the town for a night. Things don't exactly go to plan, and we end up burying a dead body. Yeah. The worst part was that the game crashed at the end, so I had to do the entire thing twice. 
When I finally did it, I got an achievement. After that, Joe and I go and sell some illegal cigars. You make a bunch of cash, but then some rival gangsters come and blow up the truck with a Molotov cocktail. To get revenge, we and a bunch of other guys head to a foundry armed with Tommy guns and rifles. We about to get everyone inside, and while doing that, I got an achievement for killing five enemies with a headshot in rapid succession. And of course, when I completed the mission, I got an achievement. At the beginning of the next mission, we find out that three of our guys have been kidnapped by a rival mafia. They're being held at a slaughterhouse, and we are sent to rescue them. I do just that, and then we have to fight about 15 guys with Tommy guns and shotguns. We use our plot armor to murder them all, and then throw the rival mafia don in a meat grinder. Which is exactly what I'll do to you if you don't subscribe. And no, I'm kidding, don't ban me YouTube, please. Anyhow, after that, I was completely covered in shit from climbing through the sewage system, so I headed to the tailor and bought three luxury suits, earning a trophy. After that, I went to see the rest of the Mafia, and they welcome me into the family, and I become a fully-fledged member of the Falcone crime family. I feel like I say this a lot, but completing the chapter earned me an achievement. After that, a cutscene plays, and we basically just see Joe and Vito get insanely rich, and then for the start of the next mission, I wake up in a huge villa. For the next mission, we go to murder the heads of the rival gang. To do this, we sneak into a hotel posing as cleaners and we plant a bomb in their conference room. We detonate the bomb, but unfortunately, the Dom was in the bathroom and survived. We have to chase him through the hotel and then through the streets in a car to kill him. Eventually, we do just that, and on the way back, I decided to get two trophies for upgrading my car to the maximum level. I also accelerated to 125 miles per hour for another achievement. Unfortunately, during the mission, we lost one of our guys, so Joe is pretty upset and he goes out for a drink. In the middle of the night, we get a call saying that Joe has gone crazy at a bar. Because he's blind drunk, he accidentally shoots the bartender, so we have to hide the body and then destroy the evidence for two trophies. In the next mission, we are told that some guys from our gang are going to go and pop Leo, the guy who helped me out in prison. Our loyalties are conflicted, but we decide to help Leo escape. We go and warn him before taking him to the train station where he leaves town. There was actually a missable trophy here for not getting caught while you're with Leo, so I made sure to do that. After that, we go home for a nice rejuvenating sleep. Unsurprisingly, it doesn't go that way when a bunch of idiots torch our house with Molotov cocktails. We manage to escape to Joe's place, and he gives us some stuff, and then we go find the men who did it at a bar. We murder them all, and I got two achievements for completing the chapter. In the next chapter, we meet up with our friend Henry. He has the bright idea of becoming full-on drug dealers. We are in desperate need of some cash, so we agree. First we go and take a loan of 35 grand from some guy, and then we head to pick up some weed from these Chinese dudes. On our way out, we are ambushed and have to fight off around 15 men. We manage to escape, and then we go sell the weed for a bunch of cash. As per usual, completing the chapter earned me a trophy. While at Joe's place, we had a call from Henry saying that Don found out and he wants to cut of 60 grand, which we do not have. We go to meet him at the park, but when we get there, he is being sliced to pieces by the Chinese blokes who sold us the weed. We are understandably pretty pissed off, so we head to Chinatown and absolutely massacre all the Chinese blokes. When we get to the boss, he tells us that Henry was a government informant, but Joe doesn't believe him and shoots him in the head. Completing the mission earned me an achievement. At the start of the mission, we're in desperate need of some cash, because we still got to pay the 65 grand to the guy who loaned us money. Joe says he has a job, so we go and do it. This part was actually really cool. We go and assassinate Tommy from the first game. It, it was us! It's actually a pretty cool way to connect the games, but I kinda hate Joe and Vito now. Killing Tommy got me an achievement. After that, we head to the docks to try and make some money. We get paid to shut down a strike by the workers, and while there, we find out that the owner of the docks actually murdered our father. So we switch sides and kill him and all his men. It turned out to be a worthwhile endeavor because he has $27,000 stored in his office. Killing the dock master got me an achievement. And I also got an achievement for driving 30 different vehicles a little later. Following that, I go to find Joe, but he's not there. I go to investigate, and we find him at a restaurant kidnapped by the rival gang. After we massacre the Chinese, they thought the gangs did it, so there is basically an all-out war brewing. We managed to rescue Joe, but he is badly hurt, so we are taken to the doctor. Completing Chapter 14 earned me an achievement. For the final mission, we are called to meet the Don at the planetarium. On our way, we are stopped by Leo in his car, and he tells us that if we kill the Don, the other gangs will let us go. We agree, and when we get to the planetarium, we fight our way through his men. Eventually, we get through, but we are met with Joe with a gun to our head. He is still loyal to the Don, but at the last second, he has a change of heart, and we kill the Don. We head back to the cars, and we are ready to go and relax. Then, this happens. Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. And then the game just ends, and three achievements pop. 
Now it's time to get the remaining 10 trophies in the base game. First, I use chapter select to go back and get the trophy for selling all of the gas stamps before the timer runs out. I also got a trophy in one of the first missions of helping an old lady fix her car. After that, I got two trophies for finding all of the collectibles. In the game, you can sell expensive cars to a guy named Derek, and any car to a guy named Mike. There are two achievements in this game for selling five cars to each of them, so I did that for two achievements. I then got the trophy Cruise Control for keeping a vehicle over 30 miles per hour for five minutes. I also had to drive 50 miles in one vehicle. To do this, I hopped in my favorite sports car and drove back and forth across the main bridge. The next achievement took me two tries, but it was nonetheless pretty fun. I simply had to rob five stores in five minutes. For the last achievement in the base game, I just had to kill 30 people in a fist fight. I'd already killed like 25 from just playing, so it was pretty easy. Alright, the entire base game done in 25 hours. Hell yeah. The first DLC I'll be doing is Joe's Adventures. It has 10 trophies, and it's basically about what Joe was doing while Vito was in prison. There are four story levels, and a bunch of other missions in between, in which you just have to go and steal a car or kill someone, etc. In the first mission, you see Vito being arrested, and then you have to go and make sure that the chief witness is unable to testify. Along with the achievement for completing the mission, there is also an achievement for pushing him in a lake, so I did. After that, I had to do a bunch of annoying missions before getting to the second story mission. In that one, I just had to fight a bunch of guys in the docks in order to start a train or something. That also earned me an achievement. Following that, more pointless missions ensue, and then we come to the supermarket mission, where, you guessed it, we have a gunfight in a supermarket. Right after that, we play another mission where we fight our way through a not-so-reputable establishment. Doing all that earned me a total of three achievements. For the final four achievements of the DLC, we simply have to get a certain amount of points during a mission for performing specific tasks like speeding, drifting, etc. Alright, only 10 achievements remaining. The Joseph Adventures DLC only took around 10 hours. I'm sure Jimmy's Vendetta will be similar. Jimmy's Vendetta has 34 missions, and I have to do every single one. Not only that, but this DLC has quite possibly the worst achievement I've ever gotten. You have to drive 1,000 miles in the DLC, which is just insane, but we'll get to that later. The first mission only lasted around 2 minutes. All we had to do was escape from prison, and upon completion, I got the first achievement for completing my first mission. For my second mission, I just had to blow up a few cars, and during that, I got a multiplier of 10 times, which earned me an achievement. After that, I went on completing missions, but I was also trying to get every gun in the game because there is a trophy for killing an enemy with each gun. In the DLC, there is an achievement for killing 100 enemies with a headshot and destroying 100 cars. I found the perfect spot with 3 enemies and 3 cars, so I could literally just farm this over and over again by resetting the checkpoint. I wasn't recording for the 100 headshots, so I'll add that to the counter. And here is the 100 vehicles. After that, I went to 3 different shops to acquire all 15 weapons. Wait. Wait, 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 I just, I just got it after I threw a Molotov cocktail at some guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. This video is getting pretty damn long, so I'll just skip over the rest of the DLC. Until the last trophy, that is. After getting most of the miscellaneous trophies, I played through all of the missions and earned four achievements for finishing all the car deal missions, finishing all the missions, earning a million total points, and killing 1,000 enemies. Now all that remains is the Explorer achievement, for which you have to drive 1,000 miles, or roughly 1,600 kilometers. I don't know who decided it was a good idea to put this achievement in the game, but whoever it was needs to be prohibited from going within 500 meters of a development studio ever again. There is a glitch to get it, but you have to leave the game open for 40 hours straight, so I decided to just get it over with and do it legit. I found that the best way is to just get the fastest car in the game by linking your 2k account and then driving back and forth across this long bridge in the city. So I buckled my seatbelt, chucked on some Netflix on the second monitor, and roughly 8 hours later, the achievement popped. Yo, there it is, we got it. Fuck yeah, my god, that sucked. There is 100% completion on Mafia 2, now go watch me 100% the first game, and let me know if I should do the third.